So, you've been cast to narrate an audiobook and you're going to record it in the studio. What should you expect and what will be expected of you? Well, the first thing you should expect is a warm welcome from your producer. They're there to support you throughout the process and to help you in any way that you need. Now, there tend to be two types of producers that work in audiobooks. You'll get some who are more director-like and they will give you notes as you go along with the recording. There are others who tend to be more engineer focused and they will focus on the technical recording and you won't hear so much from them. Try to prepare to work with either. The first 10 to 15 minutes will be spent just getting you comfortable and familiar with your environment. So where can you leave your coat and any bag that you have? Where might you be able to get hot or cold drinks? Where are the loos? And in some studios, they have snacks. So where are they stored? Then you'll get familiar with your booth. You'll be taken into the uh, recording booth. Uh, there'll be a table, a mic, a chair, and it's a good time at that point to make sure that the table and chair heights are comfortable, that you can read your text clearly, um, and that if you have any drinks that you need to have in the studio with you, cold or hot, that, that they're there and ready for you to, to, to start the day. At some point in this setup process would be a time when the director style producer might like to have a chat with you about the book. You might discuss the story overall, you might discuss characterization, you might discuss theme, and you might actually have some questions that you'd like to chat with them about before you start the recording. Then your producer, or possibly an engineer, will do a few technical checks. So they'll check that your mic is in the right position. They'll check, they'll ask you to do a levels check. So they'll get you to read a little bit of text and make sure that everything is right on that front. And finally, they'll ensure that you can hear the producer on talkback. In some studios, they like you to wear headphones and there are others where it's optional. After that flurry of activity, it'll be time to settle down into the recording. Now, if it's your first time, or even if it's not, you might feel a little nervous. So give yourself a moment to relax and don't let any sense of pressure make you feel you have to rush your reading. There are two types of recording method a producer might use in the studio. With the first, they just let the track run. And if you misread something or you want to change the way you read a line, you would just stop, pause, and say the line or the phrase again. Then the second option is something called punch and roll. And what happens with punch and roll is that when you have got to a phrase that you would like to re-record, the producer will stop the recording. They will wind back a couple of phrases. They will play those through and then at the point where you want to start re-recording, they will punch you in, they will start recording again. As you're reading, the producer will be following word for word on their own copy of the manuscript. Sometimes they'll mark it up, for example, if you stop uh, and, and make a correction, or perhaps they hear an extraneous noise, and sometimes they'll just uh, write a note to the editor to help with post-production. They might also notice a misread or a mispronunciation, or they might think there's another way to deliver a line. And in that case, they will talk to you on the talkback mic and uh, and make a suggestion or an explanation of how the change could be made and then you'll go on to re-record. There may be times when you yourself are unsure about pronunciations or sometimes, and it happens to everyone, a line just won't come out and in that case the producer is there to help. Uh, they're there to either give advice or tips or just to soothe you into a slightly more comfortable place. <laughs> Studio recording days are usually made up of four one and a half hour recording sessions. So there are breaks mid-morning for lunch and in the afternoon. Lunch can be anything from half an hour to an hour. The other breaks about 15 minutes. 
The thing to bear in mind if you're recording in a studio is that it's expensive. There are rental costs and staffing costs. So you would be expected to turn up on time and well prepared, having read the book right the way through to the end and having a good idea of how your characters are going to be voiced. Ideally, you will have a script with you. You'll have it in paper or you'll have it on a tablet. And in a perfect world, your tummy will be full enough to get you through to your first break without too many tummy rumbles. The goal that we're aiming for is to record four hours of edited material per day. Enjoy your time in the studio. <laughs>